Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to do this super fun and awesome Deadpool mask. Usually I don't trace out my designs first, but I decided to this time just to make sure the mask was nice and symmetrical. So I placed dots as markers. So wherever a point is on the mask, I placed a dot and made sure that all the dots were symmetrically placed. And from there, it's just a matter of connecting the dots with lines and it kind of makes your job a lot easier to do it that way. So I'm just connecting the dots with a translucent white paint. That way, if I mess up, it's easy to simply wipe it away. And I used my eyebrows as markers for all the dots. It's like a base point to make sure that I got them in all the right places. Next, I just traced out the outline and it's time to fill in with some red. I'm using a flat brush and this will help you get really straight lines easily and it'll help you fill in the whole space really, really quickly and just make your job a lot faster and easier. And I'm using Krivlin Regular Red to do this. It's just the perfect bright superhero red. And I did the red before the black eyes so I didn't have to contend with any of that black. If you accidentally brush against even the littlest bit of black, it'll streak right into your design and be a really big pain in the butt to take care of. So now it's time to fill in the eyes. I'm using a round brush to get nice straight lines on the outline. And then I'm outlining my eyes and I'm gonna leave those blank because Deadpool's eyes are white and we want them to be a nice bright white and then fill in with that same flat brush to get it all filled in very quickly and easily and as you can see I'm scrubbing that color into my eyebrows so that they're completely opaque and no hair is showing through now it's time to give the mask that 3D look and more comic book like feel and I'm taking Krivlin regular red and black, just a little bit of black and shading just half of my forehead and then right underneath the cheekbones. A good sponge to use for this is a more porous sponge and as you see this one has rounded edges. That'll help with your shading. Now taking a BAM stencil I'm going to add kind of a fabric look to it with that same red and black mixture in the shaded area and then going a little bit into the highlighted area and the same thing right underneath the cheekbones. Go ahead and wipe away any unwanted marks with a wet wipe. With a tiny bit of white on a dry sponge, add a highlight mark on your highlighted area of the mask and this is totally optional but if you want to add texture and interest and a little more realism you can put tiny little stitches all around the eyes just like Deadpool has in the movie. To really make this mask pop it's important to add highlights and shadows to your mask to make it look more three-dimensional. So how I do that is I took a really really light gray color just some white mixed with a tiny bit of black drew a line, filled that in a little bit, and then took a fluffy brush and blended it out into the black. It's super easy and it's very effective. So draw your line, fill it in, take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blend it out right into the black. Make sure that the very edge of your highlight is um, the brightest. So don't pull all the color out with your brush, just the inner color so that you still have a nice highlight to work with. When you're done with your blending, take that white color and go along each corner of the mask so that every single angle stands out with highlights. Using Krivlin Black, I outlined all the outer edges of the mask and then wherever there was a corner, I rounded it in to give it a more comic book-like feel. Using Starblend Black and a pencil brush, I went ahead and added shadows to the bottom of the mask, concentrating at any corners I put the most there, and then lightly blended it out. And this helped the mask to look like it was sitting on the face. And the last step is to paint Krivlin Regular White on your eyelids. And this gives a really cool effect when you close your eyes. It looks like Deadpool's glowing white eyes against that dark black and red mask. I hope that you guys like this. All of the products I used in this video are all listed down below, as well as where you can buy them and links to my Facebook 
uh, Instagram, Snapchat, all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys soon in another tutorial.